Holy cow. Come on, it's obvious. Okay, so I'm gonna use my smartwatch to figure out how to play Pokemon Go. And I'm gonna use my car to collect my Pokemons faster as I war drive through the neighborhoods. Don't, don't play Pokemon on drive, kids. No, no. <laughs> Um, has, uh, has Metasploit got a nice module to brute force those passwords? We should probably create one. I think you could do that. You could do that. And, and then we could upload it to a famous site. And then all, the, all the passwords. And once you're into the Pokemon, can you put the... Because I don't know how the Pokemons works because I'm an adult. Right. But you know how you log into Pokemon Go. I know, it's kids. And that's where you get No, 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 no. You use your Google account. you got to use your Google account. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, oh, man, I just said I'm an adult and I don't know anything Google about it. <laughs> oh, okay, there's that. Um... Well, someone eventually might use Metasploit to compromise the Pokemon Go database to extrapolate out a username password list that then can be sold. That's going to eventually happen, right? Probably, sooner or later. We could social engineer people into thinking they were going to win a drone. I got that far. <laughs> Well, or you could socially engineer people uh, to um, congregate in a common place with their Wi-Fi devices, which is good. Um, Hook up a access point on a drone, hover above them. Yeah. Use air crack. Oh, we got this one. Use air cracking to push out like common uh, SSIDs like Hilton or. Free yeah. Wi Fi. Yeah, free Wi Fi. See how I many jump people on that? Yeah, people jump on I've that. I've heard people do crazy things with Wi Fi. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's easy. That's it, done. Job done.